Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to make apricot jam. As I showed you yesterday, I have a whole bunch of apricots, and I did make a pie. And as I also said, these apricots, they ripen very fast. We picked these yesterday and they've already ripened immensely. So what you're gonna need, and this is a real simple recipe off this pectin box that I do, you're gonna need five cups of cut up apricots. We're gonna use a ladle when we pour the jam into our jars. And I purchased some half pint jars. I wanted a different style, but they didn't have them. So I've got a dozen of these. Um, you're also going to need this kind of fixture so you can pick up the jars. Um, you do need a big pot for canning. Um, they are uh, pretty deep. I use my own um, pot. I don't have the canning apparatus, but it works really well. So I'm going to go through all the steps and show you how simple and easy it is to make jam. I'm not doing the freezer type. I'm doing the one on the stove. It's my preference. So I hope you enjoy this jam making recipe. The very first step is you want to sterilize both your lids and your jars. Um, anyway, it depends on uh, the size of your jars is how big your pot is going to be. This is kind of more of a a wider pot, but I'm going to do these in batches, or I could do two pots at the same time. So what you want to do is fill the water about an inch or two inches above the jars, and you're going to medium boil this for about 10 minutes. That way your jars are sterilized. Once you bring your water bath to a boil, then you can kind of lower it and simmer boil, kind of a simmer for about 10 minutes, and then your jars will be just as sterilized as you need them to be. So once you've boiled uh, your jars, you get this fixture, because it's easy to pick them up, you remove the water and you set them on a clean towel or a cheesecloth or something. And so you just pick them up like this, remove the hot water, and take everything out, including these lids. And that's what we're gonna do to um, sterilize them and now we're going to go with the next batch. I'm doing these in batches instead of different pots at the same time. You're going to need a half a cup of fresh lemon juice and you're going to need eight cups of granulated sugar and a pack of pectin. You're going to want five cups of finely chopped apricots. So this is about the size you want them, right about here. Okay, here's all of our ingredients ready to go. So all of our jars have been sterilized and the lids and the seals. This is a ladle for canning jars. And that's when I pour the jam, the hot jam in. I'm going to pour it uh, to the bottom rim about a quarter inch below the rim. I have five cups, this is a four cup measuring cup, and this is a cup, so there's five cups of finely chopped apricots. I have a half a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and eight cups of sugar, and one packages, package excuse me, of pectin. And this is two ounces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a saucepan or a pot, and you're going to put your apricots and lemon juice in. And then we're going to add the pectin right after that. We're going to stir it and boil it until there's a rolling boil. When you stir it, there's still a rolling boil. If you want to add like a half a teaspoon of butter, it will keep the foam down. And after you reach a rolling boil, you're going to add your sugar. And then you're going to boil it for four minutes. Now there's different time limits for jellies versus jams but I'm making a jam. So we're going to boil it. Once everything's in the sugar, we're going to boil it four minutes. Now you're going to put your lemon juice in, your half a cup. Now we're going to add our pectin. Here's our pectin. 
a whole package. And now we're going to stir this and bring it to a full boil. And when you stir it and it's still boiling, that's how you know you're ready to put your eight cups of sugar in. But we're going to keep stirring it and wait for it to go to a rolling boil. So here's the rolling boil. And when you stir it, it still boils. That's where the point is where we're going to add our eight cups of sugar right now. So this is the stage you want after you add the sugar. It has to come up again to a full rolling boil. And now you set the timer for four minutes after you reach this rolling boil. And you want to add a half a teaspoon of butter to prevent that foam if you want. A little more butter. It says a half a teaspoon to kind of control the foam. But this is the uh, full rolling boil that we're going with. And it did take some of the foam out, the butter. A four minute boil here while constantly stirring. Okay, here's our jam. And you can see there's no more foam in it. And if there is any foam, you could skim it off with a metal spoon. So right when you take it off the stove, you're gonna put it immediately in your jar. So you'll get a ladle and you're just gonna pour it in your jars with one of these uh, holder here. And you want it, like I said, about an in, a quarter of an inch below the rim. And then you're going to take your seal, just like this, and your ring around it, and you're gonna twist it on real tight, like about like that. And these are, when we fill these up, they're going to go back in a canning pot or a regular pot with one to two inches covering them in water. And you're going to have them on a, a boiling simmer. You also want to have a wet cloth to kind of wipe around the edges, the rim of these jars, so that you get any stickiness or any of the jam on the edge. just like this. Make sure your little uh, rag or whatever you have, it washcloth is wet. Here we are. This recipe says you're supposed to get about 11 cups of jam all together. So these are half pints, they're eight ounces each, which is a cup. So what we have is we have, uh, that's nine, we have 11 cups. That's exactly what we have. So the 12th one would have been 12 cups. So it did make exactly what it said it would make. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put these jars back in a hot water bath, back on the stove. We're going to, uh, I'm going to have to use two pots and the water's to go an inch or two above. And we're going to boil these at a low simmer for 10 minutes. And then we're done. Okay. This is our canning funnel. I was at a loss for words, but that's what it is. And that helps immensely when you're pouring the hot jam in. It's kind of a necessity. So here they are. You want to, uh, once you reach a boil, you want to cover them. And I have all of them. You want a gentle boil. I'm just going to put the lid on it. Put lids on all of them. And 10 minutes. And it's very nice, it's very set. I did taste it. And one thing about apricot jam, when you're cooking it on the stove, you can smell it all throughout your kitchen and it smells delicious, it tastes delicious. So these are gonna set for 24 hours and sometimes you can hear them pop, and uh, which means they seal really well. And I'm not gonna taste these because they're not gonna be ready. But uh, I just hope you enjoyed watching this and seeing how simple it is to make your own homemade jam. And jelly is a much runnier consistency than jam, and I prefer jam. That's why I choose to make jam instead. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you try it. Thanks for watching.